A 160 kilometer transition day leaving Tours and ending in Chateauroux awaited the peloton of the Tour de France on stage six. Mark Cavendish in the green jersey awaiting win number 32. A trip through the Loire Valley, 160 k's, fairly flat all day. And finishing in Chateauroux for the first time in a decade. The last winner, in fact, the last two winners in this particular city, Mark Cavendish. It was a really frantic start. Some big name riders got up into an early move as well. Kespar Askren threatened the general classification lead of Mathieu van der Poel. Van Avermaet was there. And with most of the sprint teams represented, the others had to panic. Kulpana FDG and Arkea had a chase. Craig van Avermaet got away as the rest were caught. And we're all waiting for the next attacks. Only one came, however, from Roger Kluger, another really strong rider, an Olympic track rider. These two finding themselves on their own at the front, probably had hoped for more company. The sprint trains were beginning to form for the intermediate. Van Avermaet and Kluger taking the lion's share of the points, but 15 still up for grabs. There's a little bit of argy-bargy too. A few riders getting in the way of each other. Most points taken by Colbrelli, but several riders coming to the line together, most keeping their powder dry. A few recriminations as well. Things, though, would settle down quickly again. Inside the last 15 kilometers and half a minute, the advantage for both Kluger and for Navermat. The peloton not wanting to make the same mistake as two days previous, catching the break. Nervous moments too for Jacopo Guarnieri. Arnold Imar's lead out man found himself on the ground, but thankfully unhurt. Inside the final two kilometers, and it will be De Koenig quick step with their world champion, Julian Alaphilippe, to take control. The final kilometer came, and it will be a real battle, both left and right of a wide road. Wild van Aert having said he would sprint this time, Cavendish still remained favourite in the green jersey. Colbrelli was there, ball two, as well as Philipson and Medlir. Medlir again on lead-out duty. Cavendish coming off the wheel, hitting the front of the race. Buani the closest to challenge him, but Cavendish winning again. The celebration to that first stage win in 2008, almost identical. Worried about having to retire from the sport eight months previously. A fairy tale to see him back at the Tour. And back to his old best. Win number 32 now at the Tour de France. And although he doesn't want us to mention it, you have to say now, just two stages away from equaling Eddie Merckx's record. The habitual thanks for all the hard work from the teammate then followed. And Mark Cavendish at the top of a Tour de France tree yet again. Phillips the second, Buani third, Demar Sagan fourth and fifth. Mathieu van der Poel still in the yellow jersey. Two cycling generations, both entertainers in their own right. Van der Poel's lead eight seconds ahead of Pogaccia. Wout van Aert in third at 30 seconds. And the general classification now moves on in a much more difficult territory. Stage seven will be the longest Tour de France stage for quite some time, over 20 years in fact. Heading to Le Creusot, fairly flat first half of the stage, but then the climbs come thick and fast. There are bonus seconds as well at a brand new climb at the Signal du Champ. The Tour de France continues to take shape. It's been a great race so far. Now over to you, those who need to make moves in the general classification.